really, really were. I'd have noticed that if that had popped up down there before. Okay, good on it. So let's uh, now let's go put back into our uh, system the old styly because I know that that was working fine for me and I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. Okay, let's calculate the space, install, yep, finish. Okay, now I'm going to have a little quick look in the uh, C drive, into the 86, into the STM, ST microelectronics, and in here we have it again, look, so I'm going to go ahead and install that again because you're going to need to do that chances are I don't know it says there it's ready to use now so now here is the moment of truth we shall open up I know 2.5 what targets you don't um, hopefully that's not made really any difference to this so I'm just going to plug this back in again and uh, we're back up in DFU so now I've already chosen the board here I'm going to choose the very latest and greatest firmware for it. So you're going to see we've got the Matic F405. That's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying for us to choose here. Matic F405 target, that's what we want. So let's go back here. We're going to load the firmware. So just collecting it from the internet. I could go and find the hex, I suppose, and just download it so I've got it. But just for this now, we're fine. Um, if you want to read through this, you can read through that. And now we're going to flash the firmware. Okay, so we're going to erase this first lot. As you can see, we've still got the little one LED on. Um, it's erasing. What does it say here? What fixes have we got? A fixed editing negative servo weight. Okay, VS CMS. Fix an overflow in on screen display code. Okay. And this tells you what to do if you've come into issues while you're trying to do your thing. Okay, there's, there's still time like removing boot jumpers here. Yeah. So this will only take a few moments. Quick verify. Okay, we're good. Programming successful. Rebooting itself. I'm just going to disconnect that. I'm going to flick across the welcome screen, reconnect that, and this time, <laughs> this time we shouldn't have any issues. Okay, right, so we're going to go for that same mini quad again. Ah, this time, look, we don't have the, uh, the issue with that so let's let's see I, I expect to find one issue because I think if it's going to keep hold of the old no it's shifted itself the accelerometer and now we don't have a calibrated accelerometer but it's happy with the hardware it's happy with the hardware on the uh, gyro it's happy with all the hardware on this thus far so let's go to the so the good old calibration again. My rights after all this time, you should know how to do the calibration, right? And so should I. It really does help if you get that hex sorted out at the start. But remember, it is quite hard to mess these up because it is held in ROM and it will re-arrays and flash again. So let's do it again then. So this time, let's just hold it down nice and flat again, like so. Pretty much flat. I mean, you're never going to get it absolutely right anyway unless you've really planned out this. So let it process while I'm holding it flat. There we go, we got a tick. Do like to see that tick. I was gonna say, I'm sure we've got this sorted out. So we're gonna calibrate this one. But while we've got a tick there, and I'm gonna show you how it doesn't matter which way we go around now, because I'm not gonna do it in the correct order. This should be the, should be the one facing downwards, the last one. And then we're gonna do it in this order here. Which I don't know which one it is now. Probably good, you know, to do it in the right orders, but um, facing down, we got that one, so we want to be facing upwards on this one then. So hold that there, so that should give us this one. 
don't know why I'm pointing to that. And then of course the last and least is this one. And this is where my fingers are trembling a little tiny bit. I'll slow that down. Calibration finished. Okay. There you go, so check the values have been saved. Um, yeah, 221s, but never mind. So let's just reboot that now. And we will get to see very quickly if we are okay, if we were successful with that. Okay, so we're going to go back to our setup. And yep, we're a bit observy. So where's the arrow? That'll be the arrow. Boom, boom. Right, so let me just put that back there. So forward, backwards, left, and right. Okie dokie. So we've got that pretty much in. Now, we're going to go from our uh, calibration, which we've just been, we're going to go to our mixer now, and we're going to tell it it's a multi rotor. Yep, there's your options airplane, tricopter, a rover, boat, or other. We're going to go for the multi rotor. It's a quad X out of all the different, oh, lot, lot. We're going to load. Um, Load and apply. Not just load in the mixer, we're just going to load it and apply it. Because we know this is what we need in there. Okie dokie, so that's in. So now it knows what it is. Uh, we're going to look back at the setup again. And as you can see, it now knows it is a quad. It knows it's a multi rotor and it's happy to get going. So We've done the mixer, let's have a look at the outputs. Not really going to change anything here just yet. Um, we are going to probably look to set up our D-Shot 600. As long as my ESCs allow me to go that far with it, I need to check that first. So this I'm just going to leave for now. Uh, in the presets here, because it's that D-600 thing, let's just leave that for a moment. Let's leave this. Let's look at that as that was a great way to learn how to set that up and to get it working correctly. Okay, so we're going to call that the, the fumbling, but we get there eventually, setup of the, of the thingy. Why it's good to choose the correct hex. Alright guys, just for that then, we're going to leave that as that and then we're going to get on to the next bit. Once I've done a little bit of nosing up on my ESCs and what we can do with them and what we can't do with them. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.